video number 11 and we're going to be using the labeling tool with our normalized data to get um, approximate uh, structural names for the places where we have differential activation and then going beyond just the normal slices or sections view we're going to use the montage tool so you can select a range of slices or sections to put your data on there are so many things to show you and to try out here um, our problem of course is, is that we're using the wrong structural image it's slightly misleading but one thing we can do is if there's an area we're interested in if I say go to the global maximum I can actually uh, right click on, on this figure and we could zoom in so we can see in more detail if we think that's too blurry you can change the interpolation to nearest neighbor to see the actual voxels of the underlying structural bias not very useful anyway given that it's uh, someone else's uh, it's going to be sl slightly misleading but one thing I have done here is for the overlays which I've now lost for the display yes you can add the uh, labels and this when we click on an area it shows us what the approximate structure is we are so it says inferior occipital gyrus um, which makes kind of sense and so if you click around um, it tells you where you think you might well be again um, if you s when you select this and you go to MATLAB window it says use atlas labeling with great caution uh, this is because it's 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 always very approximate and you can't rely on 100% you have to look at the underlying structural uh, of the image concerned so um, there's no need to spend a long time uh, explaining a lot of these things you can you can probably figure out what most of these things mean you can even create this little animation of um, going through various slices um, you can overlay you can make a montage up um, of, of lots of lots of slices say uh, which can be useful let's just do that quickly now so we'll just uh, again we'll render it uh, unhelpfully on a single subject uh, what we'll do is we'll start at the at, uh, at before you use a lot of these tools, you should know the coordinates you want to look at to the different Z scores. So we're focused on the Z score of minus 8 here. So I'm just going to go from a Z of minus 20 steps of 2 up to, say, um, 4. And so this is a montage that's produced just showing the transverse image I chose, uh, or, or axial. Um, so you can see the activation, the bilateral activation, which something to do with faces may even be the fusiform face area. Just one of the many tools. But I think what we need to do before we get into these more is start using uh, structure images from the participants we already have. That was just one of the many ways you can use to visualize your data. In the next video, we'll go back to some image processing with our participants anatomical structural images so we can use those in the future visualization videos will come to later.